Well, what's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video. And in this one, we decided to do D4 challenge once again for the last time, but try to make it more difficult than ever before. We decided that whenever we get three or four relics, we roll for a curse immediately. It turns out that relic stacking is pretty powerful and that one or two relics can really change the course of the game. In this video in particular, we ended up getting 300 max HP and apparently that's pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, the same thing, but this time we're gonna get a better roll, right? Oh God. Okay, well, let's see. This could be a lot of gold. The game just hates me. I, this is like deja vu. Alright, so we do want to do elites. This, this path is a little bit better than last time. So what we could do is think about the same kind of like four elite, three. Let's look at the three elite path. That's pretty nice. A lot of hallway fights. There's four elites, three elites. There's a lot of elites in this act. I could do sparkle, get it out of the way. There's a lot. There's a lot of good paths here. There's this, like crazy paths. I don't know if I, I need to get cards for that. There's a lot of elites. I don't know what is the best one. Sounds like I'd say it's super hard. Yeah, even then, silent. Like, they didn't have the the tweak that I added, which makes it harder. I'm gonna go for the, the high roll. The thing is, preserving... I mean, Ceramic Fish is not really, like... Inspiring confidence here. Yeah, we are gonna post that Tincture Run to YouTube. The thing is, I think I have to post the Ironclad one first to give the, you know, background story. Okay, that's good. That's Paul Lenny's perfect. This is bad. This is really bad. I could take Static Discharge, or I could take Doom and Gloom. I did not want to get ambushed by a shop, because these are these could have been beautiful relics I could have gotten. Like, shops are actually kind of interesting. The timing of shops are very interesting, because buying relics is very good. Alright, let's go. Oh, new prediction. Uh, the Drake will take care of that? Okay, it's a defrag. This is good. This is good stuff. Great stuff. Alright. The number one thing is beating this first elite. Once I beat this first elite, it should snowball. It should snowball in my favor. Just gotta beat this first elite, no big deal. Ah, lethal, I didn't have to do the, the dual cast. Okay. Vajra, now come on. Let's see what we got. This could be snowballing in my favor. We can do some barrage stuff. Okay, I'm okay with taking a curse for three Vajras. Absolutely, that's Gyria fully stacked. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Electrodynamics, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is going places. This is going places. Oh, we gotta add a curse. Roll the curse, roll the curse. Ten. Gotta arrive. Okay, that's a pretty decent uh, counter. Rive is a pretty bad one this early. Pretty bad, pretty bad curse. Alright, but we got another relic, so this is fine. Okay, that could be good. Let's roll for it. Three. Okay, we're getting a lot of curses, but we're getting... So getting three Centennial Puzzles doesn't make a lot of sense. So that is a kind of a... Uh, that one's a little bit of a low roll. 
So we're getting punished, which is fine. I add a... Five. What's five? Normality. Oh, God. Oh, God. Normality. Wow. Wonderful. Shouldn't matter. I do want to do Doom and Gloom stuff, but I want to get the powers out first. First is coming hot and heavy. I want to get the defrag out first. Alright, not bad. That's a full hand. They didn't proc what? what? The hell is that? Not grayed out. Interesting. Okay, anchor. Anchor can be great. What's up, Shay Peaks? Let's see what anchor has for us. Okay. You know, when I get excited, the game doesn't, you know. It... Okay, so we have. So we have Cold Snap, Self Repair, and Static Insurance. These are great. I want the Frost. I want uh, self, self Repair. I also want Static Insurance. These are all really good. I kind of really want the Frost as well because we're going against the Guardian. So the Guardian is going to want the Frost, right? But Self Repair is insane. What do we do, guys? Guardian says take Frost. The run says take Self Repair. Are we okay to do the elite with this? We should be, yeah? Gremlin up or triple sentry. Should be just fine. I just tweaked it so I add curses when I get more than um, three or more relics. Let's see Lantern. Now Lantern would be good if I can get self damage turn one. Otherwise, Lantern with Ride is a really bad combo. So I gotta think about whether I even click this. Like, yes, it's pretty okay, but with Ride is not doing great. Laking this could be okay. Like, if I get a self damage card, then Lantern turn one to turn puzzle could be amazing. But right now, with Ride, it's not that great. But there's some linking potential, so I'll roll for it. But again, now if I get three or more, this is when the downstairs starts showing up. Because three or more of this would be bad. Frick. Three or more of this is pretty bad. Because remember, Lantern is really not that impactful with Rive. There is some linking possibilities. But yeah, this is how we start losing. Let's roll for the curse. Two. Decay. Alright, so I'm saying that the late game of the, uh... The late game of the Lantern could be worth it, but I may not be able to get to the late game at this point. Three curses. And only one relic that really does it. Okay, interesting. And Divic doesn't really have a lot of self-damaging cards, does it? We can bottle Meteor Strike. Yeah, there's, like, there's plus sides. You can bottle Meteor Strike, you can do things like that. Um, I'm curious about all for one. I'm gonna, I should probably skip Lantern because Lantern, just like the the 50% chance that I get a, get a curse is probably not worth it, right? Well, 
We can do the next elite, no problem, right? I would have to get a pain, though. Okay, Lantern was useful there. Lantern was useful there. The Vodger is hard carrying. I kind of want self repair. See, cur Courier, I don't really want more than one of because we realize this doesn't stack, right? I still want this relic, but I got to make a decision. Do I want 50% chance to get a curse? We got another, we got another close snap. Yes. I'm gonna roll the dice. 50% chance? No problem. I always win these. I always win these. 50% chance? No problem. Fuck. Okay. Let's roll the curse. Okay, the curse is, uh... Clumsy. Well... Well... The good luck guardian, I guess. Good luck against the guardian. I might just rest because they don't really have impactful upgrades. Although, resting seems... I didn't get any potions. Um, I don't know. Resting doesn't seem that great. Upgrade dual cast. Did we try courier? Does courier stack? We, I think, I think it doesn't stack. Look at look at this turn one. Normality, uh, clumsy ride, and six energy. Now what happens if you get more than one, um... What happens when you get more than one token as a stack, right? I guess I'll damage now. No point. Hey, does token stack? I don't think so. Looks like we didn't want to stack it. Stack, yep. Yeah, this does the Nintendo doesn't work. The Vajra works though. Alrighty, got through it. Seek multicast creative AI. It's probably just seek. Multicast darkness is pretty good. Multicast defrag is pretty cool. Like the, the, the doom and gloom is really good with multicasts. I think seek is more consistent because we have so many curses. Because we remember, we're gonna get two curses. We're gonna get a lot of curses here. I said two, and hopefully I get two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, Pandora's box. Double the effect of the potions, or... And this is interesting. How does Calling Bell work? So you get another curse, but do we roll for each relic of Calling Bell? That's interesting. So Calling Bell could end up being four curses. Yes, the, we don't roll for Calling Bell itself, but the relics it procs, we do roll for. But that could be four curses, that's not necessarily good. So that's really interesting variants. So 
So that's up to four curses. It kind of lets you choose. So like, I don't pick tiny chest, but blue candle? That's self-damaging Centennial Puzzle. And Helix? Okay. So let's decide how much we want of Helix. We know tiny chest is trash. Horse likes a buffer could be crazy. So let's roll. Let's roll for blue candle first. Four blue candles. Isn't that actively bad? Isn't that minus four HP? What? I mean, I want to look at it because it's necessary, but I didn't want four of them. All right, and let's roll for the helix. Two. Okay, so this is the this is the worst part of it, right? Now we have to get another curse because of blue candle. This is how we started losing badly. And now we have to add a curse. So let's do the curse for blue candle. Four. That's an injury. And now we got to roll D4 to see how many curses we get at the end of the act. Two. All right, so we got injury. Writhe. And pain. Oh my God. Injury, writhe, and pain. Guys, this is what... Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die so hard. So many of these relics just don't do anything. All right, let's take a look at our deck. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine curses out of 27 cards. Let's see if Courier works. At this point, I need Courier to work. Career doesn't work, you already know this. Blue Candle is particularly bad. Oh my god, that's how it works? In that particular order? The candle more than counters it. Yeah, it actually hurts me. It's unfortunate. We got Leap versus Hologram. I like Hologram for Doom and Gloom and stuff. But... All right. So we get Toxic Egg, but that's not something you really want to double. Uh, Cod Cod you normally want to double. Oricalcum could be a good thing to double. Oricalcum does stack. Oricalcum does stack. So you end turn and each each Orichalcum stacks. At, at least it stacks in Spyro Friends. I don't know if it stacks in this game. It should. So if you just had no block, they each give you six block because the condition is met. So the condition is met for each one of them and boom, six block. Because as soon as you don't have in turn without block, they each see, they each see that I don't have block. Which could be a good way to save this run. Let's, let's roll for it. Oh, P Darson Periat? Okay. Alright, let's roll for Oricalcum. Three! Nice! 
Take care, Saro. Ah, that gives us a curse. That curse is gonna be six. Six is pain. Okay. But now the question is, I gotta decide if I want to um, take the parry after or not. Like, I really want the Toxic Egg for Recycle. But if I high roll the parry apt and I have a lot of Ori Calcums, maybe I can survive this run. Maybe. Yeah. My bad. Alright, let's let's do parry apt. Let's see how much we roll for parry apt here. Come on, Perry Apt. Yes. All right, so we got three Perry Apts and three Ori Calcums. Let's see the curse for Perry Apt. Two. Decay. All right, we have a lot of curses. All right, so we got Decay and Pain, right? So let's uh, let's do something real quick, brother. We got a deck add decay, deck add pain. Okay, but we're getting some action speed to balance this out. And I think we take a recycle over removal. I picked up Orcacum first. Wait, I, I bought Orcacum, I bought. Periapt, and then I roll for the curses afterwards. You're saying Orichalcum curse, then Periapt curse? That order is particular? How do you remove max HP? You can't. It's like, I never decided when I'm rolling for curses, I just bind all the shop altogether. I don't think this wins anyways. Six. Eleven. Eleven curses. If I didn't have all these freaking blue candles, this would be fine. Rikakum will save the run, though. Orikakum will save the run. It's the Orikakum that's going to save me here. I want more and more frost. It, the Orikakum is like... So this is what's interesting about this challenge is that Getting multiple of a specific relic can really offset these curses. So the Vajra offset everything else that's going on. The Orichalcum is going to offset most of the other crap that's going on. So it's like the little diamonds in the rough that are going to save the run. And the, um, what's interesting is that the fountain also exists in this act as well.
It's the Oricock and Vajra that saves us, exactly. Alright, so we're not getting potions though. Yeah, block cards are just bad, yeah. yeah uh, there's a command for Lanku. Is, is Thunder Strike something I want to actually take? Because Thunder Strike, I have Ball Lightning and I have Vajra. So Thunder Strike is doing 10 times X, X being Lightning. And I have Zap, Electro, Ball Lightning. So is 10 times. 10 times 3 or 4 worth it for 3 energy? Is 10 times 3 or 4 worth it for 3 energy? If it's 10 times 5, maybe, right? But if it's 10 times 3, no. That's like skewer. 10 times 3 is like skewer. The obscure is variable cost. This could go up to uh, it's probably ten times four on average. It's, if I upgrade, it, it's, it's twelve. Yeah. If I upgrade it, it's twelve. But right now it's ten. So now I have Orichalcum and uh, two helixes. And if we keep getting more curses, we get a lot of max HP out of that, so that's, that's kind of nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. So ten times four is, is just about what I expected. Just about what I expected. The Oricuck rolling high was so good for me. So nice. And obviously getting defrag early is really important. Um, what we need is, uh, the tungsten, do we, have you seen tungsten rod? The tungsten rod with blue candle would be huge. If I roll tungsten rod huge, then I actually just counteract the blue candle. So tungsten rod is really, really important here. Uh, I don't know if I actually want barrage or not. Let's get Electro early. Ask me you shall receive. Is it worth getting rid of a curse? Because the buff is getting proc anyways. Electro instead of defrag, and defrag is pretty important. Um, so we get how much right now? 24? Oh, did I roll? I only rolled three. Oh, I only rolled three.
Alright, not too bad. So we're gonna get a relic out of this, which is gonna give us max HP. Potentially. War paint upgrades two skills. Do I even want to roll for this? Best case scenario, it, roll, it upgrades seek and only seek. Upgrading defense are useless because the defense are, are actually curses. So right now I actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 curses. Because we don't want to play defense. So 15 curses is what we have. Um, so war paint is actually not a relic we want to see. So we just missed. We just missed the relic here. I don't know if I could take another cold snap though. Maybe another cold snap is not worth it. Because I'm now I'm approaching five cold snaps, which it's getting too much. Yeah, we have a lot of bad cards. We also got a warping, which is a really bad relic. However, if I get a curse, it might balance out. Like, what if I actually just take it so I actually get a curse? Because I get 18 max HP for if I roll three. So now that makes period peri is interesting because now I actually might want to get. I might actually want to get a, a curse deliberately. Hollow looks good, but it ruins our calcum. I mean, if it hits seek, I'm happy. So I'm gonna take. I'm, I'm gonna gamble here. I'm gonna gamble here because if it, if I roll three or more, I get 18 HP. But if I don't, I can get seek potentially. So I'm gonna gamble here. I think it's worth it just to take this. Perfect. I only get one. So if it hits seek, that was just flip pure upside. And if I get a curse, that's sort of not too bad either. All right, let's see what other relic we can get here. All right, let's play this. I went for the card draw instead of the buffer thing. Very nice. The anchor is suddenly bad now, yeah? Not bad. Smiling mask. That's not something you want to double though. Yikes, and I didn't get a potion. This is getting kind of unlucky. I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's roll for this. Smiling mask. What do we get? One. Okay. That's fair enough. One is well take. Um I don't know if I want darkness or not. I think this deck is just doing stuff with like Thunderstrike. Um, I kind of want to go for the shop, but these are events which could be the fountain, and I want another elite. Now, smooth stone is kind of weird because I have Ori Calcum. Is there ever a time where I actually want to use my dexterity to block? Potentially, if I have a lot of defense in my hand, I could block more than Ori Calcum. Let's say this rolls four, for instance. If I roll four, then I can actually block more than Orichalcum. And the defense are not completely useless. But you probably want to just sapphire that. Do I want bites? Bites might be okay, because I'm taking a lot of damage. Do we want to transform cards? Or do we want to get mutagenic strength? So that means we can get um, potentially a lot of damage to turn one, but we have brides. If I transform, I probably transform the two defense. Base mod, transform two defense. We got we transform two defense, and we got two new defense. <laughs> What's interesting is that if I did have the Dexterity Stone, I could potentially have pivot into some block stuff because Orichalcum is not going to carry me to the heart, whereas the Smooth Stone could potentially like pivot 
into Reinforced Body Leap stuff. But right now I'm just playing around Orcock like crazy. I really gotta remove these Rives. These Rives are extremely bad. And yeah, this, uh... The anchor's anchor actively bad here. Anchor's actively bad here. Pain back to back. My goal is to bite up the fool, but I gotta go through the pains. Okay, up to fool is a little bit un unrealistic, but maybe not. No, because I do too much damage. But we can get some light back. And now the pains could actually make me do blue candle stuff. If I have enough. The problem is I have too many blue candles. But, you know, if I didn't have too many blue candles, I can actually use blue candle and paint, uh, bite back up. The fence even harder come together, though. Isaac, nice so rough. Cool. Bites were really, really nice here. Extremely nice here. I would love a singing bowl. Singing bowl would be great. I wonder if that is stacked. Probably doesn't. This is probably a decent buffer. But I'm wasting six energy. And this is a decent buffer though. I guess it's gotta waste six energy. It's also wasting a turn. It's wasting tempo, right? I'm wasting a whole turn of, of cards I could be playing. A whole turn of cards I could be playing. Oh, cool, let me try it. <laughs> You're so eager. You're lucky. I'm telling you, it's all placebo. <laughs> Maybe. Just vitamins. Just vitamins. All right, pain. Am I, am I playing four cards this turn? If I am, I should just get pain out of the way, right? If I'm playing four cards, which I'm gonna play seek, defrag, cool headed, cool snap, okay. We're living. Now, Happy Flower could be useful. It's, it's okay. Happy Flower is okay. Let's roll for it. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, we got three Happy Flowers. And we got a curse. Let's see what curse we get. Ten. Ten is the hell's ten. Ten is another ride. Oh my god, my turn one's ride is so bad. Oh, you guys couldn't see it. All right, I roll the ten. Ride is so bad. Um, dexterity five is pretty bad. Multicast is interesting. I'll take it. That, oh, well, so this is what's gonna happen with multicast, right? I'm gonna make multicast draw happy flower by the sheer luck of my ass, and then we're gonna darkness multicast uh, happy flower shenanigans. That's the solution. 
Look at our turn ones. Wonderful. Now we really need ice cream. Now I want the ice cream, yeah. I can get darkness on uh, multicast. But don't we want to bite this this boss? This um, yeah, anchor's really bad. And so my turn ones, I have anchor or ride, like just horrible turn ones. I'm basically sacrificing a turn. Um, this is gonna be 48 damage. I have lethal, but I want to do bite stuff, right? So I got to make a decision: do I bite and get more life out of this, or kill here? Well, how much damage am I taking now? I have 18 plus uh, 4, so 22. I'm taking no damage. So let's just end turn. And let's bite back up. Well. <laughs> so I'm biting up, but not really. Well, I did what I said I was going to do, except it didn't heal me. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. The bite is crazy, though. The bites are really nice. Bite is one of the best things I could have gotten, like, event-wise. Love it. I think with Focus Fight, we beat the boss no problem. Orikakum was so clutch, my god. Imagine without Orikakum here. Without Orikakum, this would have been something else. I really like the multicast here. I think multicast is how we're gonna beat the boss, isn't it? Oh, maybe Thunderstrike as well. Like we can scale Thunderstrike for damage. That's gonna be 12 times uh, X and X being the number of lightning orbs that I make, which I might just be keeping on Frost to be honest. Stack would've been really nice. Stack would've been okay, I guess, yeah. I guess at some point I do gotta take block cards that are not Orikakum based at some point. Or maybe we just get a crazy amount of relics and. Block is just solved in other ways. Like, we have a whole other act to get relics, so. Which, keep, which bears in mind, I wonder if we had... Took Black Star. Because this... Calling Ball gave us a blue candle and a helix. So this... I actually am down a boss relic. It's kind of interesting, because look, look how far I am. But I, I don't have a boss relic. This gave me three curses. This gave me three curses for something I barely use. And for helix that are barely doing anything. So I just, I just have notched up curses, no boss for like, I don't, this is just crazy. What's up, Ockerstone? I keep focused back for the heart, but... I right, turn ones, baby. Gotta love. Um... A boy can dream about saving the buffer for the hyper beam, but a boy is dreaming no longer. It's gone. That dream is over. He has my seek. My freaking seek. I want that seat back. Wait, I wanted it back on the following turn. Oh my god. Him having all the guys is pretty good, but that's already it's already dead. I need to get my frost out. There goes my other buffer. There goes happy flower. Alright, now we seem to get happy flower to stack up. 
with the Dark Orb. Uh, we have one chance here. Happy Flower, stack up. Come on, multicast. I just got draw multicast in general. I guess I could do moon cold snap. No. I guess I can cold snap, but because doesn't Thunderstrike kill at this point? How much? How, how much lightning did I have play for Thunderstrike? Lightning damage that I, I, I don't think I put that many. I don't think I put that many lightning orbs in play. We'll find multicast. We'll find multicast. It's funny because now I can't play like dark lightning orbs because I'm lying on one dark orb. Okay. So we minus one boss relic with uh is keeping track of the count. 5, 10, 12, 14 curses in the deck. And we, we got through act two. Now I don't know if buffer does anything, but fission might, because fission is card draw. It's not upgraded, but the card draw aspect of this is really nice. That is until you go right and card draw right into normality or pains. I can imagine this is good, but then you card draw right into normality and pain. I don't know. Oh, great, more curses. It might be empty cage unironically. Our energy solution is a little bit weird, but we have energy lantern turn one. We have happy flower on like turn two or three. If I take curse key, I do get 18 max HP. Do I want to willingly take 18 max HP and more curses? What doesn't kill me makes me stronger. This is going to give me at most, at least one a curse. I can remove both rides, but I kind of want the energy. What am I doing? What am I using the energy for, though? Well, I don't even need to open the chest. I'm not even sure what I'm using the energy for. All right, let's look for the fountain events. I'm gonna go for all the events. Mountain event. Let's go. I know the probability is higher when you have more than one curse. Fountain, fountain. Uh, what colors? What colors are we good here? I guess master strategy. Uh, secret technique. Purity is interesting. We can get two purities. Um, do we ever need the bomb? No. Do we want two purities? What does Apotheosis do for us? We do have Seek. Apotheosis upgrades all of our bites and our fission. We don't actually play that many cards. These are actually not that good. Let's look for 
Also, if we're looking for the fountain, the purity's worse. This is awkward. Because I'm taking 11. It might be worth to actually just draw here because buffer, buffer, I'm taking 11, right? If I get rid of my buffers, I'm taking, so right now we're looking at 31, 18, we'll be taking 13, but there's a chance that I can get, take less. cards <laughs> yeah the cycle cycling back into uh cycling back into like the purity is not actually good because we have 41 cards i mean i don't know if we're ever gonna cycle really like that makes recycle worse too because I, I mean how much are we really cycling let's look for i really want to look for the uh okay this gives me 36 max hp but I can also get more than one rare relic. So this is interesting. 31 max HP to 30, sorry, 36 max HP. And a lot of gold with courier, all right? So gold with courier means I can keep buying relics. That's really good. 36 max HP and I can keep buying relics. Maybe this saves us. Maybe this saves us. Let me use the bathroom real quick. Maybe this saves us. Let's do it. I owe you guys an explanation why it took so long. All right. So, long story short, the toilet was clogged. Elle tried unclogging it with like a cheap plunger. She left it, broke it in there. I had to fix that, then also unclog it, then use the bathroom. It was an ordeal, but, um, I won't go into details. So we have a lot of gold. Now I'm thinking I'd rather remove. Take care of you, thanks for, thanks for 200 bits, 100 bits. I gotta remove Writhe. Try to find the membership card because this is a uh, shop relics. I'm about to get a lot of relics too. And I gotta remove Writhe, right? This, this gets replaced with a regular relic? Yeah, they are, this is like a no-brainer for me. Can I get a shop relic that come from any one of these slots? I don't play that many cards, so normality's not that bad. Um, but the question is, can the shop relic come from any one of these? Because if I get a membership card, that'd be sick. You can only get one shop relic in one iteration of the store. I guess, we can, I guess we can test the theory, but to test the theory requires me to buy a hand drill. Which I'm curious how actually how good this actually is. It's a lot of free vulnerable. For sure I want to buy data disc. Let's do that. Let's roll the dice. I roll. How are you gonna give me one data disc? Okay, and then we'll do bronze scales, because that could be interesting. Okay, I'll take two bronze scales. All right. Let's think about, um, should we test the shop relic theory? Let's try hand drill. Okay, so let's roll for hand drill. Four hand drills. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Relic add. 
and draw. And let's uh, roll for curses. Seven. Um, that's a parasite. Yeah, a lot of max HP though. Um, I can go for preserved insect. What some does give me some damage, yeah. Let's, let's do preserved insect real quick. I want to test this shop relic theory. How many shop? Yeah, let's do preserve insects. All right, let's roll for that. We don't want a high number of preserve insects. Okay, perfect. And then we can also get removed first events. Yeah. Now preserve insect doesn't it doesn't stack. A wipey statue is okay. I'm running out of gold though. Let's do Weststone. I think Weststone's decent enough. And let's see. Let's roll for Weststone. One Weststone, okay. I think Singing Bowl could be interesting because I'm probably going to skip most cards. But what am I going to do with all this max HP? Let me go lock the door. Okay. Let's see, uh, how many singing balls do you want to- let's, let's, let's go singing balls, let's roll for singing ball here. One singing ball, I'm getting a lot of ones. Um, I can save money for the next shop. Um, I want to remove one writhe, but yeah, let's remove one writhe. Meal ticket gives me sustain when I enter Act 4. I, I roll for bow, I only got one. Save for next shop, yeah? Do I take a focus pot for any of these bosses? Do I need focus pot for these bosses? I guess what we could do is just dark orb stuff. We dark our way to victory. So we gotta just survive the Dark Orb stuff and then boom. That's pretty much our plan, is just get Dark Orb, stack it, and kill. And I'll save the rest of the gold here. Alright, and we'll also get a relic out of this too. I need Dark Orb ASAP on this fight. <laughs> what a turn. I might want to consider like... I need Unceasing Top or something. If I don't get darker, I just lose. Okay, there's a dark orb. And now we multicast. 15 times 5. Well, I gotta do it, otherwise I'm never gonna kill. Like, when's the next time I'm gonna draw back into this? It's 
unlikely I'm gonna draw back into it. We have bites, so it's okay. Oh, <laughs> when am I gonna drop back into it? Immediately. Hilarious. Juju, what is that? Well, we do want to look for the events, right? Like, at this point, I wonder if I just... I have to roll for it because I want it, and I think I want to look for... Uh... The fountain event. Alright, we got two juices. Not that it matters, but... We only got one, uh, single bowl as well. We don't have to- we don't have to open the chest, but like, I feel like... It's sort of worth it. Sort of worth it, he said. Huh? It works on Thunderstrike. I got the Rive right back. Strike down me for Thunderstrike. Water turn one. I, so when, when these relic miss, it's, it's bad. When they miss, it's bad. Oh my god, normality too? Fuck. There goes Seek. Wow. Love defrag here, but seek was a thing. Oh, perfect! Okay, we're gonna have to find a, a fight to bite off of. I need a fight to bite off of. Okay, but that's that chest is kind of is, is taunting me. Okay, let's roll for hourglass. This is true pain. This is ultimate pain. I, I wonder, instead of... It does, but I want to roll for Thunderstrike and then get three and get another curse for one card in my deck that I barely use. Um, another Elite or two another event? We're looking for a Shrine. I need Relics. These Relics can save me. Relics who saved me. I, I, I didn't take the relic because I didn't want to get a chance to get another curse for a relic that only buffs one card that I barely use. Is what I said. It's what I said. Multicast exists.
What's up, AJ? Electrodynamics exist. Huh? Okay, this could be interesting. This could be good. Let's roll. I, I, I swear I'm jinxing myself. Every time I say it's interesting or good, I get one. Okay, I got a four. Okay, okay. So, let's roll for the curse real quick. Six is... Pain. More pains. Alright, let's do it. You guys are saying stack is decent. Stack sometimes blocks more than Ori Calcum, right? That's a lot of max HP, by the way. Stack. Sometimes blocks more than Ori Calcum, yeah? Only when I have 20 cards in my discard is this worth it. Is it only worth it on like... I don't know if I take stack. It's only worth it... Halfway through my deck. Alright, Fountain. Okay. These are not really relics I care. Okay, but does Chemical X stack? And if so, does Multicast become insane? Be huge Chemical X Multicast. I also... I kind of want to... Buy a Focus Pot. Let's roll for it. Two, chem two chemical exes. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, ink bottle could be card draw. Let's roll for it. I how many cards are actually? Wait, I don't really even play cards. Ink bottle is really bad because I, I don't even play cards. Let's see. Okay, four ink bottles. That could be formidable. So let's do that. If this works the way I think it does. And then let's do, roll for curses. Curse is gonna be eight. Regret. I got regret. Regret's a bad one. Regret is a bad one. I'm gonna buy the defrag. I wanna buy the capacitor. I wanna buy the capacitor. I wanna remove the rive. I wanna save money for the next shop, I think. I think capacitor, capacitor, potion. And uh, we're, we're doing all right. I, I got another rive from the last chest. I, I opened too many chests. I opened a strike dummy chest, got another ride. That, that was that was really bad. I should have ignored that chest. I just couldn't help myself. Because, you know, relics can be so powerful. Eight vulnerable. Okay, hand drill, I see you. Hand drill's popping off. Wait, if I do multicast, don't I just win? I do want to do some bites. Let's try to get some bites. Like an ink bottle. 
I have a feeling Impulse is not going to work. I think it does. That's a good purity. Impulse stacked. Compile. Recall. Well, let's get drawing. You guys are just coming in. I've got four blue candles, so I take four damage. Question is uh, potion. I think this fight can be solved by Dark Orb. I just gotta get to darkness and then multicast. I need my max HP in the process. Well, there's the multicast. And if I do capacitor, then I'm never gonna get to the Dark Orb in time. But capacitor could allow me to like stall for a lot longer. I got rid of all the artifacts. That's OP. All the artifacts. Play that because I want to get dark. I might just kill a multicast on electro dynamics here. See, this is the trench where purity's, purity's good. Ink, ink bottle actually was amazing. He's drawing. I'm about to draw seven cards. Like, seven card draw is insane. But this is not the turn for Happy Flower, so if, a ha if Happy Flower is synced up, that 7 card draw with like, three, uh, 3 extra energy. Oh my god! What a deck. 15 vulnerable. Wait, why is vulnerable getting added? Lightning procs vulnerable? What? Lightning procs hand drill. Wow. Don't tell me you guys knew that. Don't tell me Chad knew that. This is awkward here because... I want it doesn't matter actually it doesn't really matter problem is I waste ink bottle all 
All right, so we got Chemical X, and we got Ink Bottle, and we got Ornithopter. I don't know when you left, but the chem Ink Bottle has been doing work. I could focus pot for this fight. I could focus pot for this fight. I have 160 HP. I don't think I ever lose. I think I just want to save focus pot for the heart. Save focus pot for the heart and I'm happy. Um. So Happy Flower's coming up next turn. We, so we got ambushed for another shop and we bought we bought so we bought some stuff. We bought capacitor, capacitor defrag. And we argued about the seek is probably worth it. That's a regret. Oh, holy shit. Well, luckily we had max HP. This is a good purity turn. I should've taken both purities. I didn't realize in hindsight how much purity was gonna really affect hands like these. I should've taken the second purity. Luckily, we can eat and turn this guy soon. All for one can bring back purity at some point. Uh, we're close to eat and turn here. Just about done with Eden and turn here. Alright, so I can't eat and turn and then I get one more frostrope and then I can enter indefinitely. Okay, one more frost orb. trucking along. I want to say ink bottle for for the next the next act. He's killing himself off of thorns. I guess I get rid of my curses and then, um, like biting back up, I guess. It's not that important. I think the most important is getting ink bottle stacked.
Do I have fission left? Yeah, I'm taking damage here too. Getting ink bottle stacks here is a little bit cumbersome. I want to draw into purity. Drawing into purity would be huge. Right, how important is ink bottle anyways? Ink bottle seems pretty important, doesn't it? Drawing four cards. Like, it's gonna be hard to get Ink Bottle going unless I do something right now. I mean, I guess he can kill himself with Thorns. How do I restack Ink Bottle, though? It was six times four. Six times four is 24. It's not a big deal. I should have played a block card first. I, I forgot how much damage I had. Should have played a block card first. Where's Happy Flower? Oh, this is good because on turn two I can. This is fine. Is it even worth ever upgrading? It probably defrag, but we have apotheosis. Oh, I gotta roll for curses. Oh my god. Four curses! Alright, I'll okay, back. Alright, let's roll the D10 now. Alright. First one. Seven. One. Five. Ten. Seven, one, five, ten. Seven, one, five, ten. So that's Parasite, Clumsy, Normality, Rife. I rest for 34 HP. We have a meal ticket, so let's just upgrade a card. Fifty-four cards in my deck. I don't have to think. I'm thinking about the other run. Oh, okay, mummified hand. Um, doesn't do anything actually. Yeah, it's the highest HP we've ever had. Yeah, this is. Master Strategy does something. Mummified Hand doesn't do anything. Master Strategy remove Rive. And I guess... Master Strategy remove Rive and that's it? Static is attack damage. Curses... Our HP, it, it, static and curses don't interact. Static is bad because I have six thorns. So the heart's already killing himself off of thorns. So static is useless because I want to keep my frost. 
only attack damage, regardless. The thorns, six thorns is enough as it is. Plus we have focus and capacity. It's this and remove her eyes. Um, I wish I could use more potions though. This looks like about it. Aesthetic's okay, but not really though. No. It's not upgraded it's unless, yeah, this is just a pass. This is an unfortunate shot. All right, let's try to get Ink Bottle stacked up. Turn one, turn one, one might be bad. But this is fine because we got um, buffers for turn two, and we have Ink Bottle coming up. Buffers for turn two, he said. Now, what the hell is happening here? So what we could do is, I want the Doom and Gloom, although Electrodynamics does work here. I can draw a brand new hand. I could draw a brand new hand and I can argue that Plain pain here and drawing a brand new hand will save me more life than the buffer is blocking for 21. So if I play this, I draw uh, seven cards. That's a scroll on steroids. Play more than four cards now. So now I block for eighteen by doing nothing. But it seems so like this blocks for more theoretically. Blocks for three more. But it comes at the cost of bite and stuff like that. Well, it blocks for five more. So we have multicast stuff. Huh. Let's offer one bring back. Sure, stack up ink bottle. I could theoretically try to stall for uh, bites, but the guy is gonna. Yeah. He's gonna kill himself with thorns. And I wanna re stack up ink bottle and get happy flower. Okay, that should be enough for uh, sad distractions there. Bottle is nice and stacked. Bottle of flame. Is that compile driver? Barrage might be good. Later on, because I want to have capacity. Barrage will do damage later on, though. 
So Bottle Flame, is that Compile Driver? Maybe it's just Bite. Because turn one, we're going to have Ink Bottle. It's just Cold Snap. I wish I could use this potion. It's very hard to lose this. Darkstone Parry Up is one of the broken ones. Do I want to keep zapping the deck or no? Focus Pot doesn't do anything right now. <laughs> it's not my end of my turn yet, but um, they want to keep zapping the deck. They can help push up orbs, I guess. Oh shit, auto flame D4, fuck. That's probably too late now. Doesn't matter. Alright, um. I don't know if I want to keep this app or not. I'll keep it. Nice heal. No reason to capacity yet. I might, it's actually sometimes better to not use capacity if you want to save Regret, wow. If you want to save, uh, you want to evoke instead of, so there's no point in doing that yet. The Thorn Tinch are doing a lot of damage here. Alright, one is Happy Flower. Two turns. Lightning like does all the damage already for me and Thunderstrike is doing work too This is a happy flower turn, so this is decent I can start getting rid of all the curses now for the recycle, but that doesn't really matter Periap saved the run. Periap and Orichalcum. So despite like having... Despite having... 4... 14... 19... 20... 20 curses. A couple of relics are able to save the run, right? Like... Orichalcum Periap. Super cool. Which kind of validates that my, my tweak because my tweak was like... Certainly some of these relics are way too powerful. So we should nerf them somehow.
Oh, they're mad at you, fuck. So the mini curses are good. I think without Periot, we probably don't win this. At all. Just open for him, it's crazy. Take a look at the stats here. How much HP did this give me? 252 max HP. Wow. I've gained 93 block per combat from Ori Kalkum. 93 block per combat. And I gained 252. That just goes to show you what I performed in this run. And this right here is exactly what we performed. Thorns dealt 42 damage per combat. I got them kind of late towards the run, so. Gamma ship is strong, tungsten rod strong, yeah, there's. Intense burner strong. <laughs> Four turns of intangible. Four turns of intangible is pretty strong. Tinksha was crazy, yeah. Uh, Periapt is very strong. If you're getting these many curses. Ink bottle is pretty strong. I mean, Intense Runner is just. Probably broken, yeah, for sure.